Hey, what's going on guys? Today I've got the all new MacBook Air with the M1 chip that I wanna review for you guys. Now, there's a lot of videos out there talking about the specs on this thing. This is gonna be more of just related to photographers using Lightroom, Photoshop. I'll talk a little bit about video editing. But this is gonna be a short review because this thing's just absolutely amazing and that's really all that you need to know. Now, for me, I went with the MacBook Air. I was planning on buying a new MacBook Mac desktop and kind of had a bad set of circumstances. My MacBook Pro got hung up during the Big Sur update. I can't get it undone. I couldn't get a Genius Bar appointment to go in and get it fixed. The same day, my son's screen went out on his MacBook Air. We both needed a computer in a hurry, so I ran down and I bought this. And I went with the MacBook Air for one reason, price. Right now, California's went back into a lockdown, and I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to stay a full-time photographer in 2021. And so I honestly don't want to invest a lot of money in equipment that I don't know how much I'm going to use next year. So let's talk about this thing and talk about how awesome it is. So one of the first things that you're going to see here, so I've got 1,600 raw files that I'm going to import real quick for you guys. And you can see... You can see here, they import almost instantly. They start importing. Okay, and so we're still in the import. Now these files, these are from the Canon EOS R6. I will be getting out a review on that here in the near future. Um, I've kind of been lagging on doing it. But you can see how fast they're importing. So I'm in the library module. And as I'm scrolling through these images, there is no lag time whatsoever with these images. They just load really really quick no problem uh, you know I can zoom in and out in the library module which that's pretty much to be expected but with my MacBook Pro which was getting a little bit old I was having a lot of problems even in the library module with getting them to load the images there was some lag but look here I am in the develop module and they're almost instant in terms of loading and you know I can make my adjustments do whatever let's say I want to grab a brush here and there's no lag at all. It's just instant that everything is moving along. It's making the adjustments. No problems whatsoever. Uh, you can see my progress here. Like I said, this is 1,100 images, and it's, you know, it, it's going to take a while to import this number of files, but it is really fast. So let's go ahead and jump on over into Photoshop here. Now it does take just a second for the image to load in Photoshop. And I've got a bunch of files open. Now you can see my Photoshop here, I don't have it set up yet. It's still with the stock layout. I haven't put any of my actions or anything on here yet. But you can do whatever you need to do with no lag whatsoever. I mean, you can make all your adjustments, do whatever you need to do. So Premiere Pro, no problem. I haven't really done any serious editing in Premiere Pro. Let me turn that sound down. But, it, you know, you can see everything loads instantly. So I did a quick edit of a movie last night in iMovie, and I, I used that for this video simply because all of my images, since it was with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, everything was on my Photos app, so I could just easily find my photos on here. But it was a 12 minute video shot in 4K. I had absolutely no lag, no problem. Um, it, I forget how big the file was whenever I exported it, but it was rather large. iMovie doesn't do a very good job of compressing the files. But there was no lag at all with it. Everything went fine and it took about five minutes to export it. So look, if you're gonna use this for any serious video editing, yeah, you might wanna go with like the MacBook Pro. But for basic video editing and for your photo stuff, this works fine and the Adobe apps aren't even optimized yet for the MacBook Air. Now I went with the version that had 16 gigabytes of RAM in it and the reason why I did that is I went to Best Buy, I was gonna get the bare bones eight uh, gigs of RAM because basically this is gonna go to my son at some point um, and I didn't wanna spend too much money. The guy at Best Buy pretty much convinced me that the one with eight gigabytes of RAM uh, was going to crash if I was trying to do any kind of 4K video editing, and it scared me. I've seen some other people do some reviews, and they said that they've had no problems at all uh, editing 4K footage with the eight gigs. So I went with the 16 gigabyte one, and I'm really happy. Yes, it still did cost me about $1,800 for this 
um, set up because I got the one terabyte hard drive on it. But I'm absolutely blown away with this. This is definitely faster than my old MacBook Pro. My middle son is a film student at Cal State Northridge. He bought a new MacBook Pro just a few months ago and it's all spec'd out. And to be honest with you, in terms at least of using Lightroom and Photoshop, I would say that this is very comparable to the speed. And he spent $3,000 on his. So I'm really happy with this thing. Um, the battery life seems to be pretty good on it. Every, everything about this is just absolutely awesome. The only thing that I do not like is that it? you have to use these dongles. You lost your, uh, there's no SD card slot on it. There's no regular USB, so I've got a USB adapter here. That sucks because you gotta carry these things around with you, um, which does make things a little bit, not really more complicated, it's just more things you gotta carry with you and remember to take. But overall, this is absolutely amazing. So I, if you're a photographer, if you're a hobbyist, if you, even if you're a professional photographer, this will work more than adequately to edit your photo files. For the video editing that I do, this is more than adequate and I'm very happy with its performance. So I highly recommend this for anybody who needs a new laptop and doesn't want to jump into the more expensive MacBook Pros. This is definitely, in my opinion, a worthwhile purchase. So hopefully you guys found this review helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.